Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome and come back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and this very boring sketch because we're not going to talk about sketches, we're going to talk about the right click menu. If you right click on my mouse you get this small menu to the right, it, uh, it has on the top here uh, what you might call a gesture system where you can hold down the right mouse button and move in any direction and it would do some of these things here. I rarely use these. The only one I might use is repeat, if I want to repeat the last uh, feature I did, or last command, whatever I did. Then you have some selections down here, and these selections are context-based, so they will change depending on what you're doing. So, let's edit the sketch, and show you the most basic. So we're going to start with basic things, and at the end we're going to show some more useful features of a right-click menu. So this is just kind of the basic stuff. You can do all, all this with the constraints menus up here, but I want to show you the possibilities. You select two lines, hold down control to select the second line, so they both get highlighted. I right click and say, okay, I want these two to be perpendicular. Remember, look next to the mouse cursor, you can see the perpendicular little icon. So I'm going to hit escape to turn off that. You can also see the highlights of the constraint feature up here. Select this line, control, select the second line, right click and say, I want these to be midpoint. You can see the midpoint lights up here and we still are still in the midpoint selection system or selection phase. So I'm going to hit escape and I can now move out this. So that's how I can right click, select constraints, I can do some other things, add dimensions and so forth. And the things I'm showing of course, try these, do they suit your workflow? Use them or your working style? If it doesn't, forget about them do what works for you. Remember that. Do not try to imitate stupid things. Uh, the repeat. As I say, right click, uh, you have a repeat. In this case, it happens to be repeat extrude because I've already done an extrude. But let's start an extrude. I hit, this is a bit stupid because I can hit E of a keyboard, but this is just an example of how you can use the gestures. This is one of the few gesture features I use. E, click on a profile, pull it up, say OK, that's good. Let's say I want to make a extrude, extrude again, hold down the right button and move upwards, and get a repeat. And of course, uh, I don't need to wait for the menu, so I'm going to do this again. So I'm just going to hold down, pull up and release. And I get repeat. You don't ever see the menu. Sometimes it gets a bit laggy, so it can be a bit confusing. So, there's a possibility of repeat. Uh, one of the gestures, few I use. Now it gets into the power moves. That's makes more interesting to do. You have some type of model. This is a very small model, so it's not really relevant for this one, but I just want to show the features. So let's say I want to find the sketch that created this face. Or I really want to edit the sketch. I need to change some dimensions. So which sketch is this? I want to select here so it's easy. But if you have a bigger model, it might take some time. I simply right click the face. And down here, I can do things like extrude, offset, plane, shell, and so on. But I have edit feature and edit profile sketch. So by clicking on edit profile sketch, it will bring me into the correct sketch. Move the timeline backwards. And oh no, it doesn't move, but it, it highlights the sketch and the rest of the timeline goes faded. Or I'm not visible for now. And I can edit the sketch. I can finish it. Or if I need to edit a feature, I need a different thickness. I can right click, edit feature. This is extrude. Okay, it needs to be 12. Uh, and this also needs to be 12. But let's say I by mistake select the face here. This face is connected to two extrudes. This is one extrude. This is one extrude. I right click and select edit feature. Fusion ask us, what extrude do you mean? We don't understand, of course. So it, this is extrude one. You can see the highlights slightly changing. So extrude two is the one I want to change. There should also be 12 millimeters like that. And of course, uh, if you're just playing around with the model, you can directly do things like extrude here. Let's say I want to extrude this uh, 25 millimeters out and I don't want this part here. So I'm going to extrude distance to object like that. And yeah, and I want these two corners here. Let's see if this works. I'm going to right click and select fillet, and they're going to be five millimeter fillets like that. So there are some things you can do in right click menu, but it needs to suit your work style and your workflow. So I just wanted to show this and uh, some of the possibilities with the right click menu. 
So with that said, take care. I hope to see you around and goodbye.